Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're let's playing Dragon Quest V. In the last episode, we beat, um, Rama, uh, Ramada. We beat him. He thought he was trying to trick us, saying he was Martha, my mom. And we also found our wifey, Bianca, but she's still stone. She still turned to stone. And basically, we're here because we must defeat the High Priest Eyeball. I think he's Russian. Anyways, we have to beat him in order to release Bianca from her state of being stoned. Also, another thing the evil spirits can do is change your tactics around as well. Bastards, I hate them. They're some of the m most annoying enemies in the game. Oh yeah, let's keep going. We're not gonna get any of the treasures. Oh, here's a new enemy, Dark Shaman. Anyways, we're not gonna get any of the new treasures in this cave, in this cathedral, temple thing. Anyways, we, we're not gonna get it due to the fact that we will get it, uh, after we beat the, um, the old bad guys, you know what I mean? Because after you beat the boss, you, um, the temple is clear of monsters. It'll be much easier to explore. Unless it's like, unless the treasure's like blatantly in my face. Like that one, maybe. Mm, I can't resist not trying to grab it. So freaking yeah, good thing I got a um, slime knight with me still, Pierre. See, a lot of people don't bother. I mean, they take the son and uh, the daughter. Ooh, the demon claw is a pretty good item for Barongo. But yeah, most of the people don't end up uh, taking more human companions like uh, like. Uh, What's his name? Pippin and Sancho. They just, uh... They just ended up taking more monsters, which is, uh, you know, it's a good good thing to do if you want, but I like, uh, having more human characters in my group. I don't know why. Maybe I'm racist. Nah, maybe the term's not racist. Maybe the term's more like, um, elitist. Or better yet, monstrous. I don't know if that makes much sense, but, uh, whatever. Yeah, so we gotta just, uh, walk through this area. Let's go down here. Oh, there's some skeletons. Oh, a note written on the wall. Marina? This guy knew Marina? Oh, that must be Joshua. Oh. Shield of Ruin. I think that, 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 uh... Shield is uh, cursed, and the slave clothes are pretty terrible defense. But you know what? It's only right that the uh, they're here. I mean, because you know this place was built on the back of slaves, so it's only uh, you know reasonable that the uh, that you know the freaking you got slave clothes here. You know what I mean? We're looking pretty good so far. Just those evil spirits. Those evil spirits can be a pain in the butt, Doc. Changing your thing to manual. I mean, if you want it on manual, that's cool. I usually like controlling all my characters just because due to the fact of the last game, you know, not having control at all. It's kind of nice. Gotta keep healing. Anyways, I think this is the last guy here. Oh, that's it. You're going down, too. Just a dragon warrior. Like I said, definitely Pierre is really good. Oh, here we are. Let's just heal up a little more Nina here. I think I can take this guy out. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, let's go. 
Oh, look at this guy. Look at this big guy right here. Eyeball. Yeah, that's right. I beat Ramada. And now I'm after you. Legendary warrior's right here, and he's gonna kill you, man. You're done. I don't think so. Oh, look at that. He did something nice. My pathetic clan. I don't think so there, buddy. But yeah, this is pretty much pretty cool. You can uh, change your your party member, guys. Because uh, he summoned the... Uh, the wagon. She always casts it after he attacks, damn it. Now that we have barrier on, you're gonna wanna cast increase. Now you can't use any magic on him. I mean, you can always use the zenith and sword. Mm, I got it. Uh, you can't use. Eh, damn it! Now nah, we'll just attack right now. Oh, not good. So basically, what we do here, you can use the zenith and sword, and now get rid of his uh his like any spells that he has like bounce. Ah, uh, didn't work. Ah oh, well, now you just can, can attack him. And if you want, you can have her use Explodent as long as... As long as he doesn't have a uh, bounce on. But he casts Explodent. See, and this is why you... Try to keep your... Your son's HP up pretty high, so you can cast... Heal Us. And everyone's wounds get healed. And now she, now he took away all of our like buffs. So start off with barrier, because he uses breaths, breath attacks. And now eh, what the hell is the point of casting the increase? Just cast by kill. And just go after this guy. Now what I like to do is take out Nina and throw in Barongo here. Because he's got a pretty good attack too. Except you gotta charge up for his. Uh yeah, we'll have Glenn heal himself. Yeah, just go all out on him. Sometimes you want to bring in... You can change party members. I always like to change the third one. You bring in the guy who's got more physical attack. Ah, crap. Now you gotta put in... Take out Brongo, put in Nina, and have her cast by kill on everyone again. Oh, I forgot the cat's barrier. Crap. Ooh. Since Glenn's got the, um, Mini Right armband, he'll use that. Yeah, he's, all, he's usually always the first to go. Alright, now I change him. Change, you can either put Barongo or... Or Pippin, I like Brongo. Oh, and the barrier effect doesn't, uh... Yeah, see, the barrier effect doesn't cross over... ...to, uh... ...to other party members. Yay, I beat Ivo! Take that. Look at all the experience we get. Hooray! Alright, Bronga learns he's gonna learn an excellent technique, Thunder. Eh, it's not too useful now, but if you got it earlier in the game, it's pretty good. It's like a lightning spell, it's pretty good. So now that we be an eyeball, what's gonna happen next?
We'll have to find out in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913 saying, see you later. Bye-bye.